Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry, I'm currently getting distracted by your co-host. Your co-host is mad at me for working. <laughs> yeah, I love you too, honey. She does not like me being distracted by y'all. She does not like to hear me talking to y'all. She doesn't even like to hear me talking on the phone. When I tell y'all she has spoken to all of my managers, don't let me be in, in here on the phone doing business. And if you somebody I've done business with and you have called me, you have spoken to Ellie. <laughs> but anyway, I am back because guess what all finally showed up at my door? <laughs> I was getting so many questions. Are you gonna do a haul? Are you gonna do a haul? Are you gonna do a haul? Y'all, I can't do a haul if I ain't got the products. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know why people were asking because I mean, a lot of us still waiting on packages. It's getting a little bit better now. Like I ordered some stuff from Lush as a gift to moi. Um, because the last couple of months have been really good for me on this channel and I really just want to thank you guys. Um, we've hit 5K. You guys have been super duper supportive of my content. And I just wanna thank those of you who not only come in ready guns ablazing for the hair content, but those of you who watch every single video, the makeup content, the um, fragrance content, any type of lifestyle, my vlogmas. Thank you guys so much for showing up, showing out and supporting. And just do know that that is not lost on me. And just don't be surprised if I hop in your inbox this year. That's all I'm gonna say. I can't believe we're at 5K. I'm super duper excited. We'll talk about this more in Self Care Sunday, um, but I'm just really appreciative. So we do have Black Friday madness to share. And I feel like I did very well. I said that I wasn't going to over purchase products this year. And I feel like I held true to that. So if you're interesting, <laughs> if you are interested in seeing what products I picked up, for Black Friday 2020, then just hang tight and keep on watching. All right, the first products are not going to be hair related because y'all already know I had a lot of non hair related things on my list. So I have some makeup and I have some skincare and I suggest you don't skip through this part because this has amazing recommendations all around. I'm just saying like, this gonna keep you looking bomb in all angles. <laughs> So I told you guys that I wanted to get some more things from Pat McGrath and I finally broke down and got the um, Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I don't know what I did with the box, but she right here and I love it. This is to date probably my, my best and my favorite shade match. Um, I'm several different tones and so I don't know. I feel like for the most part, my foundations do good, but depending on the season, how much time I've been spending outside, some ain't always popping the way I'd like them to. And some look way better in person than they do on camera. Like sometimes I cut the light on and it makes my foundation look like three times lighter than it really is. That doesn't happen with this. And I think it's because it is more of like a light to medium coverage foundation. It's very thin, you can hear. It's very watery, it has a very thin consistency, but the coverage is beautiful. It just makes your skin look so just soft and supple. It just looks very lived in, if that makes sense. And I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> um, it just looks like you have perfect skin. I did, I demoed this in one of the Vlogmas videos. So if you wanna go back and see how all of that applied. Um, I wanna say it was week three that I showed you guys um, how this foundation applies and how it looks and everything. So I'll link that in the cards if you wanna see how this foundation applies and everything. But I am such a huge fan of this. It's pricey, this is a $68 foundation. No, I'm not playing with y'all. But I did get it on sale. Um, they kind of did like a tiered sale. So it was like 20, it was either 20 or 25% off the entire website. And then if you spent over $100, you got 30% off. You might as well spend $100 because it ain't that hard to spend $100 on Pat McGrath's website anyway. So this is bomb. I also grabbed um, the, one of their quads from the Celestial 
Divinity Collection. The one that I got is Interstellar Icon. You guys have already seen this in a video as well. As far as like it on my face. Isn't that gorgeous? I've already been using it. I love it. This shade right here is stunning. It has a really beautiful blue purple shift. Goes onto the eye so beautifully. The only shade that I haven't used is this one, but I'm gonna fix that really soon too. This shade is beautiful on the lid or in the inner corner. Um, and I have also used this just blown out in the crease, even though it, it's not a matte shade, it does really well in the crease. So huge fan of this. Um, I kind of want to get the other two quads in this collection. I don't need it, but I really fell for Pat McGrath shadows this year. So um, anytime I really like, like eyeshadows from Pat, I just go ahead and get them because why not? So again, this is the Interstellar Icon Quad from the Celestial Divinity Collection. I love Pat McGrath shadows. If you have been questioning whether you want to get them, I highly suggest. Plus, I love to support a black woman. And then the last thing I got, I've been wanting this gloss for years. I think I saw Jackie Ina use this a couple of years ago and I have been obsessed with the shade ever since. And this is Pale Fire Nectar. And I was wearing this in a video not too long ago. I think I think this is the gloss that I had on um, in my week of favorites. I'm pretty sure that this is the gloss that I topped everything off with in that week of favorites. And it's stunning. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So I love the shift and I love the formula of these glosses. I missed when she was doing all of her glosses, like all of her lip products were $12. I should have got more because this gloss is everything. It feels so good on the lips. It's comfortable. It's hydrating. It doesn't make your lips feel like, you know how sometimes when you're wearing a gloss, it feels like your lips are peeling. It doesn't do that at all. So this is bomb. Definitely going to be getting more shades of this gloss because I I just can't. I mean, the, the, the shimmers, everything is just perfect. It doesn't break up on the lips. It doesn't do that really nasty, like clumpy thing in between your lips when you talk. It's bomb. I see why people are saying that these glosses are like superior formulation because they are. <laughs> and then of course I had to re-up on my skincare because skincare is life. My skin has really been going crazy since my medication got screwed up, so. Like my skin is very like even, it looks super smooth here. And it's super smooth like just in general, but I have like hella dark spots right here. I mean, my face just went haywire after my meds got cut off. So now I'm trying to work on that. Like we started off 2020, my skin looked like butter. And then between the mask knee, <laughs> And then the issues with my meds, like it was just like, yeah, no, no, no more buttery, soft skin. The acne is back. So, but I've been working on it. The products still for me work. I just have to be more diligent. I can't get lazy anymore. Like there would be times where I would just like skip a night, throw some water on my face. I can't do that no more. If I skip a night, sis, ooh, pimple city. Pimple City. I can't do that. Just being in a mask for like seven to eight hours, several times a day, my skin is like, uh-uh. You don't have to do more than you're used to. So I did re-up on my skincare because I was like out of everything. The first thing that I got and the sale for Urban Skin RX. So the, um, I actually did two orders because the first big sale that they did, all of their pro strength collection was 50% off which is amazing they like never do 50% off their pro strength so um I got a bunch of their pro strength products 50% off and then I think everything else was 30% off um so I got some other things that weren't from the pro strength line that I use often so the first thing I got is the clear and even tone clarifying clarifying glycolic pads these are formulated with glycolic acid, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. It controls oil, blemishes, and brightens skin tone. And I got the biggie, so this is the one with 60 pads. They have one with 30 and one with 60. I always get the one with 60 because these are my favorite pads um, for this use. So this is like my favorite glycolic. Um, I switched between this 
and my retinol. Right now I'm using the Even Tone um, Night Treatment, which isn't a retinol. I think that has like 2% hydroquinone in it, which it does really well too, but it, it kind of takes time. It's not as fast and harsh as retinol, but it does do the job. You just really have to be like consistent with it. It doesn't dry out your skin the way retinol does, which is nice. But I use this in between those types of products. So I'll use like my even tone night treatment one night and then I'll go in with a clarifying pad like this. Right now I'm trying to finish up the first day beauty ones that I have. I think I showed you guys that kit in a haul and they just don't do as much, but I don't wanna like let them sit around and dry out. So I'm trying to finish them up. They do work, but they're probably good for people with like sensitive skin. Like if you don't have a ton of acne issues, you just need like light exfoliation and you have sensitive skin, those would probably be great. Listen, my skin is not sensitive enough to be using those and actually be seeing results. So they do like the bare minimum for me. So I'm just trying to finish them up and then I will open this jar up. I have been missing these. I tried to replace them when they were out of stock and I just couldn't. I found the closest thing I could get to them and it still didn't do what I needed it to do. So clear and even tone clarifying glycolic pads are bomb. I've been using these for like three years now and they've just never failed me. And when I try to use something else, it's just not the same. I also decided to try a new cl uh, cleanser from them. This isn't new to them, but it is new to me. I've already been using it. I've also had mom using it and she loves it. I love it. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get a couple more bottles, go ahead and put some skincare on her counter. Cause she's been wanting to try new skincare too. And I think she would really love these products. Um, the cleanser I'm talking about is the Lactic Glow Micro Polish Gentle Cleansing Gel. This clarifies, exfoliates, and brightens dull skin tone. Um, this has lactic acid, hyaluronic acid, and tripeptide 38. And I think this also has jojoba esters in it. So, um, I don't remember the exact, like, chemistry behind that. Um, but basically it's not plastic. <laughs> This is a really nice lightweight cleansing gel and it has those jojoba esters in it to give you a nice gentle exfoliation. Um, I like to use this on nights where I'm taking off my makeup. Um, lately, since I've been off my medication, I found that around here in this area, my nose has been super gunky. Like I've always had congested skin. Like even when I was a kid, I had congested skin <laughs> like around like nine or 10, which my cycle started really early. And so I think a lot of my skin issues came from my hormone issues, but I've had gunky skin here and like, in like these little creases in my nose right here. My dad gets it too. I get my struggle skin from him. <laughs> so um, I wanted something that was physical just so that I, I could really work on those areas. But this is so nice around the whole face. It is gentle. So I just like add like a few pumps of this to my hand, really get it nice and lathered up. And then I apply it to my skin. The beads do kind of melt after a while. But what I like is that um, I can cleanse my skin and I don't feel like the beads melt on contact. Like I can really work it in for a solid minute and the beads are still there. <laughs> They only really start to melt like once I really start to rinse it off and I've gotten it like crazy foamy. Um, this leaves my skin super clean, extremely soft. I'm a huge fan of this. Y'all know I've been using the Even Tone Cleansing Bar for a very long time. I just wanted to try something new and I felt like why not try something new from Urban Skin RX because I mean that's my brand. So Lactiglow Micro Polish. This is bomb. Next one up. I've also already used this. Pretty much all of this I've used, except for my pads and the next product I'm gonna show. This is the Acne and Blemish Control Mask with 5% sulfur. It's a deep pore cleansing to prevent, to prevent blemishes. And this is formulated with niacinamide and salicylic acid. Um, and it says bye bye blackheads. I don't have blackheads, but y'all know the acne has been rough. So that's what she looks like. 
so it is small but it does like it doesn't take a lot of product to get it over your face this is two and a half fluid ounces um and it just gives some information about the actives in this so sulfur is gentle acne fighting ingredient that works by absorbing excess oil and exfoliating dead skin that contributes to breakouts and clogged pores. Absolutely, I used this last night. My skin felt so much better. Um, niacinamide, a form of vitamin B3, improves the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, texture and redness caused by acne, sun damage, and other skin irritants. I will say, when my skin is like looking a little inflamed and stuff before I put this on, it looks a lot better when I rinse it off. And then there's salicylic acid. Also, um, it's beta hydroxy acid um, derived from willow bark that gently exfoliates oily slash acne prone skin and removes excess oil, encourages the shedding of dead skin to, to keep skin clear. Um, and it says it improves the appearance of breakout prone skin hormonal acne, dark spots, blackheads, clogged pores, and flame pimples. Um, and I noticed the couple of weeks where I was consistent with this, it really, really helped. I got inconsistent with it and now like this section here is looking crazy. Like I gotten it looking better and then it, it looking crazy. So this has definitely helped. Um, I feel like if you have serious acne issues, this is a good mask to use. Now, just be warm. There is sulfur in this, it stinks. It don't smell good. It don't smell beautiful. Um, it has a cooling feeling on the skin and it kind of turns blue. Um, and I like everything about this mask except for the smell. Um, it makes the skin feel very, what's the word? Calmed. It has a calming effect to the skin, even though it's doing a lot of work. Um, I like to use this two to three times a week on the areas that are like my biggest issues. I don't put this all over my face. I make, basically concentrate it around my mouth going up into these areas here, um, on my nose here and on my forehead. And then in the other areas, I'll just put my, a little bit of my pumpkin pour. So I still get, you know, some of them asses going, but I'm not putting like hardcore, <laughs> um, acne stuff in the places where I really don't need it. Um, this is dope. I've been eyeing it since uh, Rachel released it and I'm a huge fan of it. Um, it's really doing wonders for my skin when I stay consistent. And then I also picked up one of my favorite moisturizers. I haven't started using her yet because I'm using up my long comb moisturizer. But this is the Radiant and Bright Glowing Moisturizer with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E. Y'all, this is so... <laughs> This is so good. This makes your skin feel so good and the moisture in this is bomb. The only thing this needs is like a drop of SPF, honestly. But this has squalane, shea butter, um, and the first few ingredients. There's also orange peel oil in here. This has lots of really good stuff in here um, for your face. So when I do use this, um, I do have to put an SPF on top of it, but um, if I'm just at home, I know you're supposed to put SPF on when you're at home, but a lot of times I don't because I'm lazy. I mean, I'm, I'm human, y'all, but you should. <laughs> um, I love this. It really does make your skin super glowy and bright and the moisture that you get. Um, I love this because even though my skin is oily, even though my skin is sensitive, um, not really sensitive, but it just, it's it gets gunky and sometimes... Um, certain moisturizers can like reinforce that gunkiness in these areas of my face here. This does not do that. I love this. This and the, um, God, I can't remember what it's called. The Hydra Balance moisturizer that comes in the little jar that you like push down the top. Those two are like two of my favorite moisturizers on the market. Um, I would say this, that, and my belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm, those are bomb, but these are like amazing daytime moisturizers. They're so soothing and calming to the skin, like, and it just makes you glow like a little angel. It's amazing. And then I'm using all of these products. All of them. <laughs> um, these are all ones that I picked up for the 50% off um, Pro Strength collection. So the first one I got is their new cleansing bar. It's the Resurfacing Vitamin C Cleansing Bar. And I have been using her and I must say, I really like her. 
Um, I've really only like super fallen in love with the even tone cleansing bar. That one is bomb. Been using it for years. Um, and when I saw this, I really wanted to try it because I really like the ingredients. Um, it says, <clears throat> who should use this product? Anyone looking to improve the appearance of uneven skin tone, dark spots, dull skin, rough texture, pore size, and aging skin. This is like a three in one. So you can cleanse with this. You can leave it on as a mask. And it does give you a gentle exfoliation because there is that sponge in here. I used it this morning. So I just put the sponge in there for like a few minutes. But that is what the bar looks like. It's clearly a fresh use but <laughs> it has a nice like light fresh smell and I am a huge fan of this it makes my skin feel really soft the lather is really nice it feels really good on the skin I also got the hydro nutrient radiance restore oil I was looking to try a new facial oil this hydrates and nourishes dull uneven and aging skin um, this has vitamins a c e and rosehip seed oil the box looks like and I really like this this is a really nice oil it's really smooth um I like to mix my facial oil in with my um moisturizing balm at night for a nice little moisturizing cocktail I love the way that this works on my skin um it's a nice clear oil no dyes nothing like that and it makes my skin feel really good um, when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels bomb. Um, so I'm a huge fan of this so far. I've only been using it for like two and a half weeks, but I have loved what I've seen what I've, whenever I have been using it. So um, after some long-term situations, I will let y'all know how I feel about it, you know, long-term. Last but not least, I did pick up the Super C Brightening Serum. This has 20% um, L-ascorbic acid, vitamin C, there's kojic acid and ferulic acid. So this is really great for cell turnover, dark spots, all that good stuff. And it also gives you a beautiful glow to the skin. So love my Super C. Had to go ahead and get another one. I kind of stopped using the Even Tone Super Glow because it's always sold out. <laughs> like, it's always sold out. So um, I guess because Super C is, you know, more expensive. Um, it doesn't stay sold out like that, but it's bomb. I do feel like the texture of Super C is silkier and it's not as sticky on the skin. It does kind of melt into my skin a little bit more and it just makes my skin look like literally it's been angel kissed. So <laughs> I love my Super C serum. It's one of my favorite um, vitamin C serums. There aren't a lot of vitamin C's that I can use that don't cause issues with my skin. Um, so... Urban Skin or X's Bay, forever. All right, let's get into the hair products because I noticed what y'all came for. Um, let's talk about since she's right in front of my face. Let's talk about Camille Rose. Camille Rose. Camille Rose. Who was Camille Rose? <laughs> Camille Rose actually came through and gave us bomb sales this year. I was like. I think she did that because there was no Royal Natural Hair Show sale. I think she was kind of trying to make up for the fact that that wasn't really super feasible. Even though she did like sporadic sales each week, kind of like the Friday Frenzy deals that Honey's Handmade does, um, it just wasn't the same, you know? So I think she wanted to make up for that. So she dropped some new products um, and I did really, really well. It, I was tempted to go back and get more stuff and like stock up, but then I was like, sis, you know? that you can only really use Camille Rose during peak times of the year. So why would you buy all this shit? <laughs> so I said, let me not do it. So the, the two things that were mainly on my list um, were the Nangai and Tsubaki strength, strength Restore Protein Treatment. And I honestly, I should have got a second one. <laughs> I don't know why I played myself like this. I think when I saw the sale, I was just trying to like get in and get out. And I wasn't really thinking, um, but this is like one of this is one of her products that does not sell out like that. I feel like a lot of people don't really use this like that. The Oud um, Moisture Infusion always goes, but this is one that's kind of always there. Um, I love this. This is one of my favorite protein treatments. Um, I've been asked to do a video on like protein treatments and like 
true, like true products that are super strengthening, that are like straight up protein, like I really don't have many. Like this, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair and TGIN CPR, three products and, and that's it. So I probably won't do that video just because I know, I know the nature of me and, and what I use and that would be a waste of a video for y'all. But I love this product. It does, there is a floral smell to this that when you put it on your hair, it does low key smell like relaxer. That is the only thing I don't like about this product is that it does low key smell like relaxer. Like it kind of have you looking around like, It stressed me out a little bit the first time I used it. But when my curls are like mad limp, when I've reached that point where my curls are just like not acting right, I'm like, okay, it's time for some actual like for real, for real protein. I pulled this out and it's bomb. Um, I went through a jar last year and had a hard time like repurchasing it. So I had to go ahead and get another one during the sale. Next up, this is one that I told you guys um, in my like Black Friday wish list that I wanted to pick up. I didn't manage to snag it because this sells out all the time. This is the Coconut Water Curl Coating Co-Wash, a refreshing burst of hydration for curl retention. This is from the Coconut Water Collection. And y'all, I will say like, I'm so mad that she changed the scent of the Coconut Water Collection. Do y'all remember how it smelled when it first came out? It smelled like a cocktail. Now it smells very hair producty, like coconutty hair producty type situation. It doesn't smell bad. It just if you were really into Camille Rose back when this like came out, you know that it smelled different. And the smell was it was so good. It was so divine. But I'm really hyped to use this. Y'all know I kind of slacked on trying new co-washes this year. It wasn't really on my radar um, the way it was the year before. So I was using up a lot of my favorites. Like I was really going ham on um, my Camille Rose Creme Restore, my As I Am co-washes. Um, what else i was using the do co-wash a lot so i wasn't really trying a ton of co-washes and like my chocolate kinks and curls really came through because i was using those as clay washes as as co-washes because they work that the best for me that way so i'm hyped to try this and see how this goes and my girl nj eberhardt she made me really want to get this so i'm really excited to try this out and see how it goes I love NJ. She's just a burst of light. She's so sweet. Like she's one of the sweetest people on the planet. And then these are two that I wasn't planning on getting, but I was hyped when I saw them. The first one is from the Her Essentials collection that she did with Curlbox. She changed the packaging, which I don't really like. Um, and she released it as part of the permanent range. And this is the strength restorative deep conditioner with Yukuba and ghee butter. Now, I really wanted to get the co-op from this line because I remember Quinn Ray saying that that thing was bomb and I was never able to get my hands on it. But um, I hope she re-releases that too. I think she just needs to make the whole collection permanent, the Her Essentials, because people want it. Um, but this is crafted to penetrate, moisturize, and soften all textures. I don't really remember hearing a lot about this. Um, but the first five are water, ghee butter, kupuwasu, CDR alcohol, and BTMS. So um, those of you who use vegan products, this is not vegan um, because the ghee butter, it's basically like clarified butter. Um, so I'm excited to see how this goes. To me, it smells like the uh, Moroccan pear conditioning custard. Yeah. It smells like Fruit Loops, like the uh, Moroccan Pear Conditioning Custard. So it has that same scent. I'm just not a fan of the packaging. Like, I just don't understand. Janelle, I need you to explain to me this packaging. Like, at least put a pump on it. You know what I mean? Like, because it's, it's thick. It's very thick. I already know I'm going to be... I can see myself in the shower, throwing this across the shower trying to get this to come down because it's very, very thick. Um, it at least needs a pump. 
something that I know I can get all of the product out of. Um, if you're not going to put it in a jar, at least give me a pump. This is going to definitely be difficult, but I will be doing a self-care Sunday on it because I feel like I haven't had a self-care Sunday with Camille Rose products in a minute because there hasn't really been new things to show. So I'm excited to try this even though I'm not hyped about the packaging. I'll be real, I'm really hyped because this gave me like flashbacks and like Diva Curl dupe vibes. So Camille Rose, Janelle Stevens released a whole honey collection to go along with the honey leave-in conditioner which i have right here it is right here um i don't use this super duper often just because as a leave-in conditioner it can be a little bit much for my hair during certain seasons so i have to be very careful with this i also have to use this very sparingly um but it is very very good so she made a whole collection to go with this so there was um a mousse a refresher, a deep conditioner, which I missed out on. It was already sold out by the time I was able to get on the website. Um, but I did pick up the Honeycomb Curl Whip Texture Defining Super Cream. I'm probably going to go back and end up getting the foam because I do feel like I want to try that out. Um, this is a defining super cream infused with honey and nettle. Crafted to boost shine, eliminate frizz, and hold styles in place. It's free of parabens and phthalates. And again, obviously, it's not vegan because honey. Um, there she goes. I love this packaging, y'all. I'm seeing more and more brands using this packaging. Um, and I'm here for it. One, because um, pumps like this. So this is, this is an airless pump. And you know that it's an airless pump because there's a little hole in the bottom. What I love about an airless pump is that it basically squeegees all the product up. So when you finish it, there is nothing left. And I love that about pumps like this. I I love packaging like this. Um, I've already kind of played with the texture just to see how it looks and how it feels. And I'm a huge fan. It's a very, it's just super creamy. It's not thin. It smells so good. It smells like the leave-in super sweet and it just smells very moisturizing so I'm curious to see how this works um if you used to be a diva curl stan you remember that they have a super cream I actually used to use that back in the day and when I had shorter hair I loved it I would only use that in my hair um after using the other wash day products and my curls were so pretty I don't know if I have any pictures of those wash and goes if I I'll go back in the archives and look. But um, the first five ingredients of this are water, rice water extract, coconut oil, honey, and wildflower and, clo and clover. This has really good ingredients in here. So I'm really curious to see how this goes. It does say um, to section hair and apply it generously on freshly washed and conditioned strands. Maybe use to moisturize and set braids, twists, and bantu knots. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'll definitely use it for other things too. Um, I won't use it for bantu knots because I like to do those on um, blown out hair and I don't feel like blowing my hair out right now. But I'll also try this. Um, if you guys maybe wanna see a video using this two ways, so do a wash and go and then either do a twist out or a braid out, I think probably a twist out because um, sometimes my braid outs can kind of make me look scalpy. Um, <laughs> um, I'll definitely do that. So I'm really excited to try this and see how this goes. And I definitely feel like I'm going to get the other products. I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on the deep conditioner and see how that is. So I can review that for you guys and let y'all know my thoughts, but super excited to try these new Camille Rose products. Next up, these are products that I've been wanting to try for a hot minute. I never, and I just never have. Um, and I've really only heard like a couple of people talk about this brand, but I still wanted to try it. So Curly Bell did a sale. I don't remember what the sale was, but it was really, really good. <laughs> it was like 40 or 50% off. Um, their products aren't super expensive anyway, but the sale just made it even better. So I did get the banana nut and avocado deep treatment that strengthens conditions and adds shine um, with banana, avocado, and coconut. The only people I've really heard talk about this brand are the Glam Twins. And it was this deep conditioner that they talked about. It does smell really good. It smells like banana bread. <laughs> it is paraben, gluten, paraffin, phthalate, 
um PABA mineral oil DEA synthetic color petroleum and propylene glycol free it's also cruelty free as well so um I'm excited to try this uh it does say that this is just what the doctor ordered for dry damaged hair so we'll see I'm definitely going to do a video on these products to let y'all know what I think um, I also picked up the Thirsty Curls Leave-In Conditioner. I've also heard the Glam, ten, the Glam Twins talk about this as well. Um, this is their triple care formula with hibiscus, aloe vera, and honey. And I love all of those ingredients. It's supposed to detangle, provide slip, and moisture. Um, and it is free of all of those other things that were listed in the other one. It says a Thirsty Curls Leave-In Conditioner provides lots of slip and moisture that detangles and softens curls. So I'm excited to try this out and see how it goes um i think you can get curly bell at sally's and it like i said it's a relatively affordable line so um anytime i can bring you guys like more affordable products um i'm down with it and i believe curly bell is black owned from the last time that i checked and heard there's they're still black owned um i'll double check just to be sure before i do the video though um, and then the last but not least is the Jelly Coconut Styling Dough, No Flakes, No Crunch Styler, Medium Hole, Defrizzes, Add Shine. Um, and it has a very, very simple ingredients list. Water, polysorbate 20, coconut oil, um, hydrolyzed wheat protein. There is DMD Hydantoin. I know a lot of people don't like that ingredient. And there is triethanolamine in here. I know a whole lot of people don't like that ingredient as well. Um, so... I will let you guys know how that goes. This one isn't like heavily fragranced, but you can smell the coconut scent in it. It kind of reminds me just by the look of it of the Unicurl Curl Fantasy, but the ingredients are definitely very different. So um, I can't wait to try these out and demo them and see how they go. So we can find out what Curly Bell talking about. Another random one that was not on my list. Um, I really wanted to support this launch for a minute, even though I don't really watch her. I mean, I know who she is, but I don't really watch her. But I thought, why not? Because she did a good sale. And these are the Curl Days products. So I got the Ultra Moisture Creme with Kikui Oil. This is a moisturizing cream for ultra smooth, soft hair. Um, and hopefully this will do okay for me. I feel like there's a potential for this to weigh down my hair. And just knowing curl days and her hair type that's the vibe that she's going to go for so I am going to go into this review with that thought in mind you know um has decent ingredients nothing crazy to write home about but you know um nothing bad either it says that it is an intense moisturizer that instantly smooths and softens your curls so hopefully this is one of those products that isn't going to overly soften I don't need anything that's going to make my hair feel gross or gummy. So I'm excited to try this out. Um, I saw, was it All Things Moelle use this? Hey girl. Um, and her hair still looked really good. I can't remember if she liked it or not. Well, I just, that didn't make it. But, um, cause I watched that video a minute ago, but I still wanted to try it for myself. And then of course I also got the Glossy Shine Gel with Kukui Oil. For shiny, defined twist outs, braid outs, wash and goes, rod sets, and edges. It's sulfate, paraben, silicone, and alcohol free. And yeah, the ingredients on this are cool. This has PVP in here for those of you that don't like PVP. Um, and some different polymers in here, but this does not have triethanolamine. So if y'all hate that ingredient, you know. Um, but it definitely like has more movement to it. It doesn't really look like one of those typical, oh, this smells good, gels that you would get like an eco styler or a wet line. So I'm excited to use this. It definitely seems like it has some fluidity to it and it just looks like it's going to make your hair shiny and it smells like a tropical smoothie. So excited to try out some Curl Days products. I've been meaning to get her stuff for a minute, so I will be bringing you guys a review of those soon. Sorry, y'all. Would it be a video if I didn't have to get up 
and go tell my yappers to be quiet. Um, so I did pick up Mish. I think their sale was like 25% off, 30% off, something like that. Their, their sale is never that great. Um, so I don't hold expectations for that. I just get what I want. I don't complain. I go. <laughs> so the only thing I didn't get was the gel. Was very disappointed in that. I really wanted to give you guys a review, but it was taking forever for my check to process. I don't know why. And y'all know I don't like to spend money unless I for real, for real know I have it. So by the time I got my check, it, the, the gel was gone. It had restocked and it had gone out of stock again. So I was like, it just ain't meant to be. She'll bring it back. And then when, when she re, you know, brings it back, cause that was a soft launch, then I'll do a review. But um, of course I had to get another peaches and cream. Let me stop. Um, I love this conditioner. I'm almost out of my first one. So I had to get another one of this cause it's bomb. It's amazing. You, if you didn't get it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> this product was in my 2020 favorites for a reason. I already have a video on it. So if you have questions, you can go refer to that. Now, Ellie, you saw me throwing stuff. I don't know why you got in the middle of the bed. <laughs> and then I was not expecting her to release the Sweet Pumpkin Spice Ayurvedic Limited Edition Deep Conditioner. I am super hyped to try this because all of her limited edition products are bomb. But this has fenugreek, brahmi, amla, bringage, slippery elm. So I already know this is going to be full of slip. There's pumpkin seed oil, avocado oil, mango butter. So I'm excited to try this. It smells amazing. And the texture is so nice. Mmm. So I'm hyped to use this. I think this is going to be um, the first product I use when Self Care Sunday comes back. I'm super hyped to bust this out and put it in my hair. I've been good and I haven't been testing anything without y'all. So the Sweet Pumpkin Spice Ayurvedic Limited Edition Deep Conditioner. I have the feeling I'm probably going to wish that I got you. And then last but not least, I told you guys that I was going to get this in my wish list video. This is the Bounce Curl Defining Cream made with flaxseed and slippery elm. She looks like she did change the packaging on this. I'm really excited to try it. Um, this has awesome ingredients and it smells bomb. Sweet but fresh. I really like the texture of this product. So I do want to try it for like a one and done situation. Bounce is a multi-purpose styling cream that can be used to achieve the perfect balance of bouncy, defined, shiny, and hydrated hairstyles such as twist outs, braid outs, rod sets, wash and goes, or any style where you are looking for amazing definition without the crunch. Bounce can be paired with our Boost Spray Leave-In conditioner or used alone. So I'll just use it alone and see if it is good as a one and done because that's how I wanted to use it anyway. So um, Bounce Curl Defining Cream, can't wait to show you guys a video on this. Last, but certainly not least, y'all already knew. When she sent it came through with the new new, all my money was going, going to her. I love it. Now I did get a couple of repurchases, but I mainly focused on this new collection and I cannot wait to film with this. Like this is going to be so exciting. <sighs> she sent it launched their Moroccan gold collection and I am so excited because all the products look bomb and I'm just, <sighs> I'm so excited. Let's just, let's just get into it. Um, So the first thing I got was the Moroccan gold two in one shampoo. For all curl types, this is supposed to cleanse and condition. This is giving me, um, it's giving me co-wash vibes because this is thick. Like, it, it's super thick. Like, look. But it also looks a lot like the um, cleanser from the Main Choice Much, Must Be Magic collection. Now, I will say the scent on these products are very light. They're not as strong as, like, the Plum Nectar and Agave or anything like that. So, if you felt like the scent on those products was strong... Um, I feel like everything, all the scents on these are really light except for one of the stylers that are, I got. So I'll mention that in a minute, but this does have, um, sorbitan, laurate, 
um, and coke metapropyl betaine. So this does have surfactants high up. So I'm thinking this is going to be like, kind of like that, I have it right here. This must be magic that I told y'all I really, really love. Um, the Tada, it's a two-on-one. Feel It looks and feels like a conditioner, but once you get it into your hair and it comes in contact with water, like it clean, y'all, it cleans your hair. If you're not ready for the cleanse, baby. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how this goes because I feel like this is definitely, I mean, it's called a two-on-one. So, I mean, depending on how this feels, we might have to do a battle of the two-on-ones. Y'all will have to let me know after I do like the initial review, but I'm excited to try this. Um, all of these are formulated with argan oil, date, and plum extracts. Plum has definitely been like making several points over the last year. So I'm super hyped to try this. I love She Scented Cleansers. Their Plum Nectar and Agave shampoo really like has done my hair well this year. So I'm super excited to try this. I also, y'all know I never get like actual rinse out conditioners, but I was hyped to try this. I wanted to see if I could find another rinse out that I like from them because I used to love their honey moisture rinse out back in the day, but she got rid of it. So um, I got the cream rinse conditioner with argan oil, date and plum extracts for all curl types. Um, this is also eight and a half fluid ounces and it has awesome ingredients. The date, the fig and the cockadoo plum are all the way up at the top in the first section so that's you know it's real it's real um it's thick for sure so i'm super excited to try this i think i'm going to try all of these products separately and then give you guys the full review with demo clips because um there's two stylers in this collection and so i want to use both of them next up i got the moroccan gold deep detox clay mask with argan oil, rasul, and bentonite clays to detoxify and condition for all curl types. And I got two because whenever they come in eight ounces, I always get two. But yeah, this um, has water, aloe vera leaf, BTMS, cedar alcohol, and then the avocado argan, sweet almond caster. Um, and then there is like the, there's honey and vegetable glycerin in the middle followed by the rasul and the bentonite clays. And then that's followed by the date fig, cockadoo plum, all that good stuff. So the texture looks really, really nice. You can smell the clay in it. So I think this is definitely supposed to be like a true deep conditioner infused with clay, kind of like the, um, like the bentonite and sea clay DC from Honey's Handmade or the um one from african pride y'all know that one that one is really good too but i'm hyped to see how this does it says apply liberally to freshly shampooed hair leave on for up to one hour rinse and follow with our moroccan gold cream rinse conditioner or any conditioner of your choice oh okay i get it now so you're supposed to use this and then go in with this okay all right Happy I read the direction. So I'm going to make sure I use everything according to the packaging instructions, just so that I know I'm getting a full picture of how this line is supposed to work together. So y'all know I like to make sure I'm doing everything how it says first, and then I adjust based on what I feel like I need later. Um, they also came out with their two-in-one styling souffle. This is a leave-in conditioner and styling cream for all curl types. It says this souffle works over time to moisturize, to tangle, smooth, and soften curls. It gives you the moisture your hair has been craving. Okay, I'm with it. Um, all those, the oils, avocado, mango butter, sweet almond, and castor, those are very high up, then followed by the extract. So this is definitely more so oil heavy as opposed to being super duper laden with extracts. That's what I usually love about She Sent It. But I, I also ain't running from the butters and oils either. That's what she looks like. Definitely thick. Definitely a lot thicker than the plum nectar and agave leave-in um, hair yogurt. So I'm super hyped to see how this works in my hair. And then I also picked up the two stylers they came out with. First of all, I am hyped because this is a product I never thought I would see from She Sent It. That is a Moroccan Gold Curl Reviving Mousse with Argan Oil, Date, and Plum Extracts. 
This is supposed to add definition, shine, and moisture. So I think I'm gonna do a rod set with this, probably a flexi rod set. Um, it says to apply evenly to damp hair, brush or finger comb through curls, proceed to style, can be used over our Moroccan gold styling souffle. So I really wanna do a rod set with this. Um, even though it can be used over the Moroccan gold, um, it, the, the ingredients are standard. There's aloe, polyquat 11, coconut purple betaine, there's glycerin, and then it's followed by the beet, argan, date, fig, all that good stuff. So I'm excited to use this. It says this fabulous hair mousse wakes up curls and makes your hair feel soft and smooth. It helps to give curls definition while conditioning curls. Curls will be touchably soft, defined, and bouncy. So we shall see. I kind of, I really want to do a rod set with this. I really want to know how this goes because I love a good mousse and I feel like I really want to try to use more mousses this year so I can actually give you guys some comparisons because I feel like those are products that I don't really use and so when I get questions about them I'm just like I don't really have a lot of answers for you and last but not least um is the Moroccan gold oil jelly marmalade with argan oil date and plum extracts um, this says this jelly like marmalade wraps strands in a blend of botanical juices such as the extracts of figs and plums and emollients like avocado oil to give curls moisture while maintaining excellent definition. Curls will be soft, hydrated, defined, and beautiful. Now this is definitely a runnier product. This looks like a creamy version of the As I Am Curling Jelly. Y'all know how the As I Am Curling Jelly is very fluid like that. It definitely has substance. You can tell that it's creamy. So I feel like they may say that you can use the curl mousse over it if you want more hold is what I'm getting. A lot of people were questioning whether this was going to be just like the Curl Perfection Styling Custard and it definitely isn't. So I'm excited to try this. Y'all know I love custards, marmalades, jellies, whether they have super runny textures, whether they have super thick textures, I like them all. So I can't wait to share this collection with you guys and just show you guys the different ways that I use it. So it will take me a little bit longer to get this review up because I'm going to use the products in stages so I can share every single one with you guys. But um, I will have a review on that coming up soon. And then I also picked up the Marula Mallow Moisture Rich Milk Hydrating Daily Hair Cream. I only got this because they did they have not brought the leave-in back and maybe they won't, I don't know. But I was missing my Marula Mallow, so I said let me give this a try as a replacement and see how this goes. And last but not least, I had to repurchase my Passion Fruit and Flax Charcoal Scalp Detox. I love this stuff. I either use it sometimes as a co-wash or I'll shampoo and I'll put in a little bit of this Kind of let it sit on my hair and my scalp for like five to ten minutes and then i'll rinse it out and proceed with the rest of my styling routine i love this i love the ingredients it's just it's a one-of-a-kind product no one has been able to touch this product it's not like other clay products on the market um it isn't really comparable to a lot of those because it's mainly a charcoal situation it's not really a clay situation so i absolutely love this it's one of my favorite products when she sent it I put a lot of people on to this this year, um, even though a lot of people don't want to act like I put them on. Listen, I already know that I popular popularized a lot of this stuff and I'm taking my credit. I'm taking my credit back. So um, I put a lot of people on to this this year and so many people have been raving about it since, you know, I've been doing videos on this product. So Fashion Fruit and Flax Charcoal Scalp Detox is bomb and I had to get another one. All right, y'all, that's it. As you can see, I did not go ham like I have in years past. Um, I only really focused on things that I was out of and new items or things that I really liked enough to get a backup of. If it's something that's limited edition and doesn't come back all the time, then I got a backup. But aside from that, I did not want to go super duper crazy with products this year. I just wanted to really focus and continue to use up what I have while also trying things that I know I'm interested in and that I love. So yeah, I feel like I did a good job this year. Y'all let me know what's what are some of the things that you picked up this year for Black Friday. I'm really curious to see who y'all were shopping. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.